Right, so moving on from there, um, you want to get this kind of shape, like holding onto the banister kind of shape, where you're, you imagine you're going up the stairs and you're holding on. So it's not like a circle like that, but that kind of shape. Um, and your two, the bits which really matter are your thumb, um, and I like to bend the thumb slightly, and your striking finger. In my case, it's the index finger, and, and I'm in a, a, a kind of a large minority, I think it's something like 40 odd percent, who, you, who strike with the index fingers, but most people actually strike with their middle fingers, a small majority, if that makes sense. Um, so you've got to figure out for yourself which finger works best. I actually started out with them, my middle finger years ago and then switched to my index finger. Um, but it, I don't know whether it really makes a big difference. Um, although it is quite hard switching from one to the other. So um, whichever way you choose, um, the next step is to get your fingers to sort of crash down onto the head of a banjo. And just see if I turn around what you might want to start doing is just getting the thumb onto the fifth string like that don't worry about banging into this that's fine but almost lead in with the thumb and then just start with your chosen finger start catching with your fingernail, and I'll talk about fingernails in the next video, um, the first string. And I strongly recommend, this, this, this is not a hard rule, but there's a, a soft rule which would say that try and get your thumb onto the fifth string as you strike. Almost as if that's actually making the sound. It isn't, it's, it's, it's down there. If you find that difficult, brush. So just, just brush your, your fingernail across the first, second, third string. But try to avoid doing that, having your thumb floating around in the air. And the reason for that will become apparent in the next video.